All right, for this class, we're going to use AutoCAD Map 3D 2012 exclusively. And you can find that program by going to the Start button, All Programs, Browse to the Autodesk folder, and Autodesk Map 3D 2012, and then click the icon, and that'll start AutoCAD Map 3D 2012. Uh, AutoCAD Map 3D 2012 includes all of the AutoCAD functionality with some additional GIS and geospatial tools. So, uh, when you bring it up, for the most part, uh, you'll see that the interface is somewhat similar. There will be some additional functionality as well, though. So, uh, if you take a look at the top left corner, the application button, the big M, you'll see, you can see the, the familiar uh, features you can start. Uh, there's your AutoCAD options here at the uh, at the bottom, and those are all your standard AutoCAD options. Please note there is another separate set of AutoCAD map options, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Um, the workspaces we can access through our drop-down list beside the application button. Uh, and you'll see that we have the planning and analysis workspace, which is the main workspace we'll work with uh, in this course. However, if you want to display a standard AutoCAD functionality, you can switch to the 2D drafting workspace or the 2D annotation and drafting. Please note you can also access the workspaces down at the bottom right corner by clicking the workspace switching, and you can find your tools in there as well. Please note up along the top, I have my pull-down toolbars displayed, and uh, if you would like to see those, you can browse up to the Quick Access Toolbar, which is this toolbar up here, and hit your little drop-down button, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you can show or hide your menu bar. So I recommend having that menu bar visible, so you can have some uh, additional tools there available to you. Uh, next thing we want to talk about is the task pane. So over to the right hand side you'll see the task pane which is a, a critical feature of AutoCAD map and that's where a lot of the uh, work goes on so it's uh, imperative that that is displayed. The task pane just like any other uh, toolbox we can pull out, we can right click on the spine, we can uh, dock it, we can anchor it to the left and right, we can auto hide it uh, just like any other tool, tool palette in AutoCAD. The task pane contains four tabs, Map Display Manager, Map Explorer, Map Book, and Survey. So uh, we'll be working mostly with the Display Manager for now. Now, if you accidentally close the task pane, there's a couple of ways you can bring it up. You can type in map w space on the command line. That stands for map workspace. Type in map w space, hit enter, and turn the toggle to on, and that'll display your uh, task pane. The other way is we can go to the view tab on our ribbon. So I'm going to click the view tab, and you'll see a palette. palette and from there we can select the task pane. Now if you notice my task pane button is not up here, that's because I'm currently in the 2D drafting workspace. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, switch back to the planning and analysis. So always make sure that we're in that workspace planning and analysis and now if I click the view tab and uh, browse over to my palette palette you'll see a map task pane button. So you can toggle it off there as well. So map task pane or by typing in map w space at the bottom and turning our task pane on that way. The other thing we should take a look at is the map options. Now remember I told you earlier that through the application button we can go into our AutoCAD options. The map options are a slightly different set of options and we can access those by typing in map options on the command line and hit enter and that'll bring up our map options. You can also get to the map options by selecting the on the ribbon select your map setup tab up here at the top and then over on the far left of the ribbon 
you'll see you have a map palette and there's a tiny little angle arrow right beside it and if you select that you can bring up your map options as well so uh, again type in map options all one word on the command line or select our angle arrow to bring up that map 3D options so uh, the first set of options we're going to take a look at here to begin with is the task pane uh, tab click that and I recommend having all these checked on and most importantly make sure you have checked on show task pane on startup we want to have that task pane shown all the time alright so we're going to say ok and that concludes our introduction to the AutoCAD map interface Thanks. <laughs>